Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, the FL Kid, aka King Petty, aka JR. And you got my boy here. I'm back, week number two, Lauren Dior, L A U R E N T D I O R. He already know, he can come on here anytime he calls y'all. But hey, we're not about to play with y'all. We're about to get straight into the topic today. Yeah. We're talking about LA fitness, the gays, the DLs, the girls, the queens. <laughs> <laughs> the, the muscle bottoms, the power top, the power, we talking about it all. The locker room shenanigans is going down today. We about to tell y'all ladies how, how to stop acting like your man going to the gym. Because you might want to go to the gym with him. Because I'm that bitch, I'm going to have on Bay, and I'm going to have on the arrow point, and that's Bay too. Stop playing with me, okay? Stop playing with me. So we going to get right into it. And okay. you know, I always let my guest host. I'm trying to get him to be a permanent host for me. I don't know how this is going to work. We're going to ease in there one day. But we're going to let my guest host start off. You know, I always let the host start off first. Give us the tea. Uh, oh, my God. Okay, okay. So, um, I have so many fucking stories to share. I know we can't probably do it all in one episode. And we got so many fucking minutes to, to get in <laughs> But I will say, um, a lot of y'all probably already know better, but the gym is definitely stumping grounds for hookups. And meeting people, it's like. But gays or straights or who? To everybody. It ain't, oh, it's right. Oh, it, it ain't just the oh, gays. Okay, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Trust me, women be up in the gym too, wearing them little, them little outfits. They know what they be doing with their ass out. Who is that? I'm talking about Camp Creek. Um, That's Club uh, Camp. <laughs> okay, so, the first, so I moved to Atlanta in May. The first gym I went to was the LA Fitness in Camp Creek. Mm -hmm. And my very first experience, I was at, I was in that bitch. And a nigga texted me on Instagram and was like, yo, come slide through the um through the locker room so I can give you some head. Oh, yeah, wait, 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 you remember? I remember you slid you. right off your head. No, 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 I'm not this type of person. No, because I feel like, one, I don't know you. And I, I just can't put my body parts on some random, I, I always be kind of funny about that. Like, if I'm going to hook up with somebody, I'd rather hook up with somebody that I know. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Or at least had a conversation with, or at least know their name, or just something. But I'm... Oh, you weren't feeling that slide through? No, I didn't. Head, I, head. I, I didn't no, I, friend, I don't know. He might have. I might have slide on through, no. friend. I don't turn down no bread. I just, I couldn't. Just, uh, no, because I feel like my my mindset it always be like, okay, if he messaged me this, how many other people? He, did you he and five me? other niggas. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I don't want to be in here, and the next day I'm burning, and I gotta go to the clinic and get that shot. Y'all know that shot. I had that shot before. <laughs> no, no, I don't want okay. that shot again. I'm okay. <laughs> saying like. The burning sensation hurts, okay? I don't want to experience that again. So I, I couldn't do it. And then also that first time we going to that gym, okay. I was on... You was popping that day. Yeah, so okay. I was on the um, the leg press machine, so mm -hmm. I'm like sitting back. Oh, so you was, your legs were open in there. Yes. Oh, but, okay. but okay. you know, I mean, they, they're only open for the gym. Oh, oh. For the gym, okay? <laughs> Did you catch me? Okay, for okay. For the gym, for the okay. gym. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, you okay, know, okay, okay. gotta get these thighs together. Okay, but anyway, okay. so uh, only for the gym. And uh, so I'm like, oh, my leg. We, we gotta chug. We're we gonna chug in a second. Okay. After right. I finish. We're okay. gonna, we gonna, Go we gonna chug this drink. What you was doing on this press? So, so yeah, I was doing the, you know, the little leg press and trying to get my, my legs and stuff together. And I was on the phone with one of my friends just talking shit. Mm -hmm. And this guy kept hovering around the area. And I'm like, man, what the fuck is this nigga looking at? So he You know what he was looking at? I know, but oh. I was, you know, I was saying down. I'm like, what's he looking at? <laughs> okay, right. You gotta be cute. <laughs> you gotta be cute, baby. Okay, 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 I got it. I'm like, I have no idea what he's looking at. And, uh, <laughs> so uh, so he came over and was trying to start a conversation with me, but I was having a real deep conversation with my friend on the phone, and he, I felt like he was being rude because I'm like, I'm clearly having a conversation and you interrupted me. So I'm like, so I mean, I didn't mean to be rude to him, but I was like, Bruh, like, I'm on the phone, you know. He was like, oh, oh, my baby, my baby, can't be rude about it. And I'm like, nigga, I'm on the phone. Like, if I got my headphones in my ear and I'm talking, I'm not talking to myself. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm not that crazy. So I was like, he was like, oh, my bad, my bad. But he was just trying to start a conversation. But I'm on the fucking phone. Like, bro, like, you could have waited. You could have just waited. Or you could have did what that guy, the first guy did. Send me a message on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And be like, hey, meet me in the parking lot to have a conversation. Not here. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, pretty popping. Okay. Like, it was, that was my first experience there. And, um, and some other stuff happened there, too, with people just trying shit. But I only went to that gym a few times. But every time I went there, somebody tried something. Mm -hmm. Or tried to start a conversation. I had one guy on another leg machine. 
he asked me to jump in the machine with me. So I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. And he was like, oh, I've never seen you before. Where you from? And I'm like, I'm from up north. And he was like, oh, he was like, I've never seen you around here. He was just trying to start a conversation. And I just, I was going on my mood. I'm a Leo, so I was, well, we're both Leo. So you already know how it is. We have our, I was one of those, I didn't want to talk to nobody that day. I was just in a bad mood. I think I was like, you know, like I just moved here. So I was like stressing over, like trying to find an apartment. So I was in my head, and he was just trying to start a conversation. And I was giving one word answers. I'm just like, like, why are you talking to me? It was like I just wasn't in the mood, and I think it finally clicked. Like I just wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling it. Well, at least like, you did let him jump in because now I I like when when people ask me can they jump in, I'm okay with you jumping in as long as you're not about to change what I'm doing. Now if you about to change what I'm doing, don't jump in. No, you can't jump in with me. Now, if you go do what I'm doing, yeah, you can jump in. Because it was this fine-ass nigga that wanted to jump in with me okay. at Old National. And I let him jump in with me. Okay. And, you know. So what happened? I ain't nothing. <laughs> like, but I mean, I let him jump in with me. I always thought he was nice. But I don't. Now, I'm going to be honest. I'm not one of them gays. I don't think everybody gay. I, mm-hmm. I truly think he might be straight. Now, do I think he might be curious or play on the low? I feel like he might do that or, mm-hmm. or if, it, if the opportunity presented itself. But uh-huh. I truly think he's straight. Okay. And so, you know, while he was jumping in, he was he was actually doing what I was doing. So I started something a little different on my third set. Okay. And he didn't do that. I was like, nigga, you ain't finished. Don't do your set. Well, oh, what I'm supposed to do? You saw me cross over it. But his body, granted, his body is way better than mine. Like his body, he already has a built body. Okay. But he was like, at Pete Finch, he was like, bro, that's that's good. You know, like that. What, what you, know. okay. I, I mean, I, 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 can't I, mean, I, I clearly okay. can't teach him in his body. Like you six pack muscles, all. You saw him a little something that day. I mean, I was just playing with him, really. But I, I mean, again, he was straight. But um, I mean, but I also was, you know, that motivated me when I saw somebody working in doing what I was doing. Yeah. So it motivates me, made me push. And so I'm like, no, nigga, you ain't do what I do. Come on, you said you was doing what I do, so I need you to do what I do. But I mean, that yeah. was a cute one, yeah, right. <laughs> but but then, you know, I had I had a guy right. that. This ep was at Mid- LA Fitness in Midtown. Mm. He he's a nurse or something, child. I don't know what he is. He older guy. He was trying to talk to me. I'm like, hey, you know, I'm not I'm not like these dudes. So I'm sure I'm not stupid. Come on, if you try to talk to me in the gym, I'm not stupid. I'm not the only nigga you want to try to approach in the gym. So please know I'm gonna act accordingly. Okay, okay. So I was like, you know, if you just trying to fuck, you know, I'm not that I'm not that person. Okay. If you try to get to know me. We can we can chat. Okay. So we had chat ch- for like a week. Te- you know, not on the phone, but just text or whatever. Cool. Then I don't forget it. He wanted to come over one night. And bitch, this was back when Scandal was on. And you know how black people is about yeah. Scandal. Uh. This was back when Scandal was on. So he, he wanted to come over and I had made a promise. I was, I was tired. I, I'm like, it's Thursday. Scandal on. Y'all already know how I am. Because I'm, I'm that bitch. I turn my phone off. Don't call me, yeah. don't text me yeah. with Grey's Anatomy, Scandal, and How to Get Away Murder. Come on, bitch, Woo. you ain't got nothing to say to me. You better be dying. Because if you are dying, <laughs> I don't even know why you text me. Well, so, if you did, I'll, get, I'll text that after Scandal after, come on. Okay. <laughs> so, I, they need to bring the Scandal Part 2 out with oh. Olivia back. They need to, I don't know what they need to oh do, but they God. need to bring, Sandra need to bring it back. But, it was good. He, I let him come over, and I have walked out of my living room for a moment. And when I walked back in my living room, his pants was down. And he was jacking his dick, talking about come suck his dick. Like, bruh, I don't know if you thought I was playing. Now, granted, he did have a nice size dick, mm-hmm. and, and, and the dick was pretty. But that's not what I called him over there for. Like, sir, I'm sorry. Maybe you misunderstood me, but scandal was on. I can't help you with that. I need you to go ahead and put your clothes up, and you're more than welcome to. I'm so, and I said, you're more than welcome to leave if you want to. Or right, you can sit here, and you can watch scandal with me. So you know he nice and got up and he left. And now he see me he see me now sometime when I go to the gym and he don't he act like he don't know who I am. Girl, I'm that's neither here nor there. You <laughs> just want me to suck your dick. I don't give a fuck if you act like you don't know who I am. That's not hurting my feelings. But see, it's a good thing that you didn't do that because he probably would have still did that same after, thing. After the yeah, you would have right. hit it and then he would have paid you dust. Oh, oh, I got a, I got yeah. another story for you. Because let me tell you, it's one thing about y'all already know from my channel, I'm always real. Uh-huh. Y'all you know about, oh, you a nasty <laughs> big ho, a nasty bald headed pig. But anyway, I'm so, <laughs> so you know, I'm always real about about my channel because my channel is, is for people to understand that it's okay to try shit, it's okay to be different, it's okay yeah. to be you. 
So sure. I went, this dude hit me up on on the app, and he was like, he had signed me in the gym before. What app? Um, this was back when I was, <laughs> this was back when I was on ground the bitch. Okay. Since you all to be petty and, and bring the tea out, bitch. <laughs> this was back when I was on ground. I gotta I gotta call you back. <laughs> I gotta call you. Hey, I'll hit you back up when I finish. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so that was bad. I had to. Oh. Okay, so. I was on grinder. Mm-hmm. He hit me up talking about he 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 liked feet or whatever. Oh, okay. This I had never really experienced feet. Now I had experienced a dude that was into feet, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna be honest, it was some freaky nasty shit. shit. Like I wouldn't kiss you, but it was hot. And now it's kind of got me to like if dudes be like, oh I'm in the feet and I want to lick on your feet and shit. I'm fine with that. Just don't expect me to kiss you because it's actually hot. It turned me off now. No, I'm not about to. If you a random person that do now, if you something I've been fucking on regular, maybe. Okay. But you see what I'm saying? Because I feel like, nigga, if you doing this to my feet, how many other feet you got in your mouth? I'm not about to kiss you. Period. Okay. So, yeah. you see, you get what I'm saying? I'm not saying me. I'm saying how many other niggas you house you went to today and did that to? Not today. But you, you but oh you follow God. what I'm saying. I you, this Atlanta, this Atlanta, this oh. DC. This this New York, this Chicago, this Miami, y'all start acting like the gays don't do it everywhere. They do it in LA, they do stop. So he when he hit me up, he wanted to come over that night and suck up, suck my dick, lick my feet. Cool. Okay. You know he was like, leave the door open. Okay. <laughs> you know, I that was back in my whole day, my whole whole day. Okay. Left the door unlocked, you know, was ready in the bed, he came in, got, did what he did. It was very hot as hell. He, he's a cute guy. I'm not going to say he, he's, not, he's not a bad looking guy. I just saw him in, the, in Camp Creek Gym the other day. He acted like he ain't know who I was. Oh. Like, but nigga, my dick and my feet was in your mouth. So I'm like, it's funny to me. Like, because, bro, I didn't, I didn't do nothing to you. I mean, you did it to me. Right, right. So. I mean, have I taste dick in the back? I mean, yeah, everybody. We gay. I love some taste dick. I hate when a nigga said they ain't never sucked dick. Stop playing with yeah. you. You want to try. You. You might not ever really suck this up, but you want to try, try yeah. it once or twice. Sucking dick is fun. <laughs> I mean, it's fun. I'm not free. It's, it's fun. Like, I mean, it's, but, okay, but I feel like, even though it's not even a gym topic, but sucking dick is fun, okay? Because, I don't even know why, it, it's fucking fun. But you only, I mean, if, if you're with somebody and they enjoy sucking dick and they think dick sucking is fun, they are good at giving you head. Because you gotta enjoy giving head to give good head. You know what I'm saying? Like if you fuck with a nigga who don't like to eat ass, he not gonna eat your ass good, honey. Or a dude that don't like to eat pussy, he ain't gonna eat your pussy good, honey. He's gonna be just you know like just doing well, it. But, 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 friend, but, I, but now, if you got a bitch who loves suck dick, they gonna go they gonna Now go you know another friend, man. now I gotta disagree with you now. Because I had a nigga be like, oh they love to eat ass or they know how to eat ass down. And then they, and then they, you all let them come over, and they ass eating game wasn't on point at all. And you like, what are you doing? Cause you bored me. You ain't never, you ain't ever had nobody hit you up saying they love to eat ass, and then they bored the fuck out of you, and you was like, I, you got to show them how to do it. You right, you right. No, okay. The case don't go for everybody, but usually, if somebody enjoys doing something, they're good at it. Usually. But, I mean, it just goes with the thing, like, with some guys, they say they're a freak. And you're like, okay, well, what do you do that makes you so freaky? Now, if you they be like, you're a freak. You're a freak. I like no, that. that is. Yeah, okay. But they be like, oh, you know, I eat ass and I fuck. Be you like, freak. That's, that's, that's normal. That's the basic essential. She don't say, like, that does nothing. And then, like you said, they eat ass, and it's like... They like licking carpet or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it's nothing. Licking the carpet. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no, like hold on. I'm, I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it. Yeah, you be like, what did you do? Oh, if you don't put your tongue in my ass. Like, I would grab your whole face and whoop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, you better eat this shit, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Quit playing with me. Okay. Yeah, Take like, them to, um, uh, what's that movie called with Tiffany Haddish and, um, uh, Tika Sumter? Um, um. You know what I'm talking about? The one time of Fair Ray. Um. Oh. And with her and, um, uh, Black Men, the Black, the comedian Black Men was in the, um. Um. She called, what they called it? Damn. I don't. I know who we talking about. I can't think of the name. Right Damn, now. you got to make me go. Has, oh, he had that, like fifty million movies. You know, I, I just was watching uh, the other day. You got to make me tell what this movie was called. Just uh, because. Uh, I then I literally just uh, I watched the movie like three times because I like because my husband is there. Who? Amari. Amari. 
Oh yeah, he, yeah, he fine. That's my yeah. husband. He not, he not. I don't think he gay, but he's still my husband. That's fine, y'all. Don't judge me. No, he's straight. Cause he know he, well, he can get it anytime, anywhere, any place, however he want it, he, he, and it ain't no shade. He is fine though. He's he fine. can get whatever he want, top, bottom, back, from nobody's cool. <laughs> Nah, nobody's cool. Nobody's cool. Nobody's cool when she was in the truck. Talking about, no, you gonna eat this? And he I say he 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 gonna eat beef. She say no, uh, it's pork or some bullshit. Did she say it was pork? I don't remember saying that. You don't remember? That? I don't remember no, I don't remember her saying it's pork. I think she said something else. It's fish. She <laughs> said something. <laughs> That's all right. I mean, but hey, I mean, but. But back to the gym. Back to the, the gym topic. <laughs> I mean, you know we, we always got top of real quick. We, we, okay. we were way off the field. But, uh, but the gym is definitely stumping ground. Um, one, of the, one of the ways I found out if somebody's interested mm-hmm. is eye contact. Oh, this is a good, this is a good topic right here. Okay. Eye contact, yeah. Um, I feel like even outside of the gym in real life, like as for gay men, um, you know, when a straight man looks at you, it's only for like a regular second. Like you be walking down the street and they just like, and they keep looking. But if it's a gay man, they'll look at you and y'all lock eyes for a period of second. Like y'all fell in love yeah. real quick. Yeah, and okay. you be like, you know, so you that, can, that then you be like, oh, that's my husband. I'll be, bitch, you don't even know you, girl. Come. But see, I'm shady, so like, you know, I I avoid eye contact at the gym. So when dudes be trying to lock eyes with me, I like I won't make eye contact. Right, right, right. Like I look at the floor, or I look at my phone, or I'll be acting like I'm texting and I'm not. Or maybe trying to start a conversation. I can hear them, but act like I don't hear it. I had one time I was at the gym, LA Fitness, I worked out on the machine, and this guy followed me around the whole fucking gym. And he kept working out next to me, whatever, whatever machine I was doing, he was next to me. And he kept that trying was to. Cute. No, I wasn't interested. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I had my headphones on my because he was not this guy was not cute. And uh, he kept asking me to go into the locker room with him so he could suck my dick. I don't know what it is. I, I, maybe it's the shorts I'll be wearing, the print be short, I don't know. But he kept trying to get me to come to the bathroom with him to suck my dick. And I heard everything he said, but I act like I didn't hear it. So I, was just, I just kept working out. And eventually he got the hint and he, you know, moved it on. And I'm like, go find some other loser. You got the, nah, bitch. Nah. Yo, so yeah, man, you gotta yeah. tell me what you be having on because they the boy who wanna suck you. Let me let me show y'all. Yeah, let me see what you be having on. Let me show you. Get your cup from out of my way. <laughs> let me show y'all. Actually, you know, I'll do one better. I'll do. I'm gonna show y'all a video. And sometimes, I mean, I do be wearing like short little shorts and stuff. But you know, I just feel like. So for I feel like you be teasing these boys. You can't get mad because they won't. No, I, no, I'm not mad. Oh. But you know, they they just not gonna get it. That's all. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like they're just not gonna get it. Never gonna get it. Get but girl, why, you, why you look for your video? <laughs> let me know when you were. So no, I, I will think that's a good a good thing. So ladies, let well, me tell y'all. I found you it. found one. Okay, we're going here before we talk to the ladies. Okay. Hold on, let me what you sure. what you have on, Frank? This is me working out on a machine. He's Frank. here. Oh, he's here. Frank, it's kind of hard to see because of okay, this, because of that light. Okay, let me see if it works. Okay, there we go. They see my little shorts. All right. All right. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? So, yeah. friend, that's why I be working so, yeah, you know, I be working out. See, you know, I'm just, I'm working on my booty and my thighs and all that stuff. Friend, they're going to take you in the locker room because they're going to let you in the I mean, I was You be doing you know. bald head and whole shit. But I got hair. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay, okay. So, so, you brought up a good topic, friend. Mm. So for the ladies, we want to get them some signs of of what to expect. Because see, here's it's twenty twenty. At the end of the day, yeah, we we are gay. We we live our life. We're discreet. We're private. I I I'm I'm okay with that. What I'm not okay with is 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 these guys that's living the double lives to where you're 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 actually putting us in danger when you don't tell us you got a girlfriend or you got a wife and we fucking with you and we don't know. You see what I'm saying? Because a, a lot of females be thinking that, oh, yo, yo gas, new, you know, because you know when they get scorned and they find out that they scorned over a, a gay dude with a man. Yeah. You know, we faggots, y'all gay niggas, punks. You know what, how the females do. Even if they like gays, they scorn, they hurt. Mm-hmm. And you know when you hurt, you say shit, you mean it, but you still say shit that you might have didn't mean at that moment yeah. or didn't mean the way you said it. Right. So with that being said, 
it's a lot of guys that won't even tell you. I've, I've messed with guys before and then found out later on they were married or had girlfriends. Yeah, same, same. So what are some signs that we help tell females about so they so they know about going, you know, they men going to the gym? Because first of all, my man ain't going to the gym by himself, period. I'm going, girl, I'm going to be in the gym every, when you say, babe, I'm going to the gym, oh, you ain't, hold up. Let me go get myself. We all going in this bitch. Oh, my God. Honestly, I don't have advice for that, honestly, because my thing is... Like, what's some signs? A dog, is a, a dog is a dog. You can't make a man stop being a dog. You can go to the gym with him every single time he goes. That's still not going to stop him from being a dog. What if you go to the bathroom? You don't know what he's going to do. Well, what about... So, what you feel? how do you feel about the guys that be in the gym wearing sunglasses? They fucking retarded. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I think they're retarded. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They be trying to, you don't think they be trying to look at the guys, but they don't want you to know they're looking at I think they special needs. They walk around with glasses on and sunglasses. Like, bitch, we got light in the gym. You can't see that. You should, nah. This ain't, like, no. Nah. Okay, they so. They're retarded. That's what I think. But I, but I don't think there's really nothing you can do. I mean, for one. Well, you know, I'm saying just signs that they might know, hey, that man might be on the low. <laughs> Shut I mean, I'm, in Atlanta, you gotta be worried if your man is fucking another bitch or another man. You know what I'm If you're a straight woman. Like, I feel like if you're a straight female in Atlanta, I feel like they have more problems than a gay man. Because they don't know if their man is gay, bisexual, or, you know, a woman. They, they don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because Atlanta, it's just a lot going on. It's a lot of beautiful women. It's a lot of beautiful men. It's a lot of beautiful transgender people. It's a lot of beautiful everything here. But you only know this nigga like trannies, you know, be like niggas, you know, like bitches, you just don't know. But I feel like, honestly, I mean, if they, if you can't trust your man at the gym, you can't, you only be with them. So, so do you feel like if a woman find popper, like a, a rush, rush or some type of popper in, in the gym bag, do you feel like her man is gay? In his gym bag? Yeah, I'm just gay as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I mean, why popper he, is why gay, bro? Yeah, what do you mean popper for? So popper is not for the heterosexual world? I don't think so. I, I mean, I don't really hear straight people really talking about poppers. Okay. I don't really I'm just they, asking yeah, for it. I'm asking yeah, for it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like, I'm like, all the straight Do I need to show them what a popper look like? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because I don't, talking? straight people, they don't really talk about that. Okay. Like, all my straight friends, I've never heard any female. About like poppers? I've never heard them talk about poppers. You know. PSA, I don't use this. I just keep it for my dates. <laughs> he used them, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I keep it for my dates, ho. Mm. So, so, ladies, if if your man have something look like this in his gym bag, <laughs> you need to question it. I need you to question it, ladies. Dude. I'm telling you, if if your man have this in his gym bag, y'all want to question. Not rest, though. Question. I mean, if it, it looks something similar to this, if it looks something similar to this and say something about never fake or something, question it. Because it's different brands. This is the most, the most, what you call it, the most popular brand. But it's different brands. I can't think of the name. One is called like Blue Monkey or some mm. shit like that. So, have you ever tried poppers? Of course. I tried them once before. I, once. Here's my, here's my thing with poppers. I, I do like them. Mm-hmm. I don't believe I need to use them to have sex. Sex. If I feel like I, if I feel like if I have to use them to have sexual relations with somebody, <laughs> it's probably not meant to happen. <laughs> now, I do like the way it make me feel sometimes when I'm jacking off. Hmm. So, but I feel like if I'm if I'm with some now if I'm with somebody and I did it without poppers before and I just want to enhance it, that's fine. But I'm saying like the first time or something, I need to know if my body really is responding to you. Not, I don't need nothing to make my body respond to you just yeah. because. You still, yeah. I know that might sound silly, but no, that actually makes sense. Okay. I mean, if you need a drug or some type of enhancement or something to, to make you get yeah. off of somebody, like I feel like the person should be able to so get you, you to that they, point they, without they to stimulate you without that extra rah rah. But um, I mean, I tried it once, and it wasn't bad. I was scared because you know. So basically, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. The top, the top is on. Um, but you snip it up your nose. You gotta snip each time. Okay. <laughs> you gotta snip it. And uh, and basically, from my experience with it, it heightens all my senses. Mm-hmm. 
And in that situation, it heightens your touch, your feel, your smell, and it relaxes your body. So like, make you feel like you wet, and you be like, "Bitch, why am I feeling like this?" And in the situation I was doing, I was bottoming in that situation. Who you doing? Yeah. Really? Because they told me you was the top. I'm confused. I'm verse. Oh. <laughs> well, that's why. <laughs> but you're not B, okay? But um, I was bottoming, and the person who I was messing with, they were, you know, they, 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 it was a lot of meat, and I was just like, oh, hell no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what you doing with that, my nigga? But after doing that. Baby, I would stop anybody night, like, sir. No, we can't do no but, jack off. But because of this. Oh, right here. Okay. okay. It, you better sell it. It made it really easy. Oh. To, it made it easy. I was like, what the fuck? Like, it wasn't difficult at all. It wasn't. It was not difficult. Like, it, it was not difficult. I, okay. I was so confused because I was just like, that was my first time using it and I was scared to use it. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on in my head? I'm like, it was blowing me. I'm like, how is my body just able to do this? But I know without that, it wouldn't, it, my body would be like, bitch, no. Okay, so, <laughs> in the gym set, and you saying if you see a guy with that in his gym bag, he gay? Yeah. Okay. Gay as, as fuck. Oh, you know he gay as fuck. Yes. I don't, stra- I don't believe straight men do poppers. I don't think so. So, what about, what about, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I had to think about what I was about to say because I didn't want to come out the wrong way. Okay, so what about straight men that come in and they stay in the sun all day? Like, like you see them work out for like five minutes, then they in the sun the rest of the time. Uh, that go either way. I mean, I would be kind of looking at the side eye. But they in the sun every day. Though. Yeah, I would look at the side eye, but that don't mean they do nothing. They might just like detoxing. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, they might want to you know. Okay, so what about the straight guy that come in and so homophobic that he start? Prime example, I was in the sauna the other day. Uh oh. Child, I wasn't even paying attention. You know, I had my music on, bopping, just you know, in the sauna vibing by myself, whole. And I, I had I took my earphones off to wipe them because you know the sweat or whatever. Yeah. And this nigga was on the phone talking about yeah, you know I keep my peace in here because these faggot motherfuckers mm-hmm. and punks be trying and stuff. And I'm like, what, what was he talking about? Cause I clearly ain't even looked your way. Like nigga, you four hundred pounds. What the fuck y'all do I want to do with you? Like he might have been like two seventy. But let me put it like <laughs> this: he was it wasn't in a muscle type uh-huh. form, a bodybuild uh-huh. type form. It was just. A big guy, like a big stocky guy, like sir. I don't know why you going on the phone like that. Like you're the only person with a gun. Yeah, so he's. I'm like, what? So he's a whopper talking about people wanting. Yeah, like, like, like he's talking yeah. about gays and, and, and the punks and stuff. But when nobody in there met, when nobody in the bottom, it was just me and him. I wasn't even looking at him. Mm. So, but I mean, I had my shirt off, mm-hmm. so I'm assuming he saw my my belly ring. And a, oh, and a, and a, you know, I had on my little, my little leg little shorts for, and I guess he saw all time. this. And so, but I'm, I was just confused. I was confused. So what you think, how you think about that? Like, you done been in the sauna and they start talking about gay people? Well, you know, you know, I've never went to sauna before. Oh, you don't go to sauna? Mm-mm. I avoid certain areas in the gym just because I don't want no problems. Like I don't shower at the gym or nothing. I shower at home. That I, yeah, like I let just, me tell you, I just avoid the bullshit because I feel like it's always some shit. Like I feel like I experience enough just working out at the gym and then just going in the locker room for two seconds to go pee. You know, I'm like I feel like if I got in a fight, I, I be in there trying to pee, and I, I feel like I got ten eyes on me trying to pee. You gotta be careful. Like damn, y'all wanna see? Yeah, niggas will record you be standing over the store. Oh, yeah. Know. Yeah, like it be a lot of people's stuff, and they pop up on Twitter, and people. And probably don't even know they're being recorded, and I ain't got time for that. Wow. I ain't got time because if you trying to sell some porn or some shit, like I want my cut. I'm t- I'm I'm coming into my attorney, and they gotta find out who who released this. I want my cut. So okay, I want my cut. Period. <laughs> Period. So um, with that being said, what would we say for in? Any- I don't know what you can say to anybody going to the gym um, other than don't entertain it. Because it's a lot. It happens at LA Fitness. It happens at all LA Fitnesses, y'all. 
Now it now it don't happen as much at like Terra Mill and Acres Mill. No, Terra Mill actually yeah, cross that out. It don't happen as much at Acre Mill. Um, you know, one all the way in Marietta because you know don't nobody really go there, but. Caucasians. I mean, nothing wrong with it, but I'm just saying because of where it's located, you know, it happens more so, more so where the blacks and the gays go. See, so I don't, I don't go to the nigga gym. I go to the one in Tucker. It be a lot of white. Tucker be so, yeah. Tucker, yeah. Yeah, a, a lot of old people go there. Tucker yeah. be so boring sometimes. It's now, it's now perfect. Tucker be now sometimes it's Tucker perfect. do give you Tito. Yeah, I mean, I, I know quite a few gays from Instagram so that go there, and they we speak, we say hello. They do their workout. I do my workout, and that's it. You know that location's a good location. Now we trying to suck you off from mm-hmm. because you, you know, you no. all told us about all your sucking off um, mm-hmm. from not the they just like they, they try to the Decatur location. They try to Camp Creek. Oh, Church try, Road, Decatur location. Mm-hmm. Oh, child, Church, um, Church Street. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they tried at that other one that's um in that plaza close to the mix. You know that one. LA oh, Toco Toco Hill. No, no, not Toco Hill. One. Um, is 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 Mall, Anzi Mall, That one, that one's really gay. Um, the one that's on Topo Hills, I get looks, but no one's ever said nothing. So that one nah, that gay. remember that nigga I was telling you about, the crazy nigga from last week, the mm-hmm. one that I always girl. He just texted me two days ago talking about good morning, what's up? Hey, what's up? Have a good day. You too. I, now, I told you I ain't signed him in over two years now, mm-hmm. but he still be texting me. But he texts when he want to out the blue. It be so random. I be I like, this that. he crazy as fuck. He go to that one. He oh, go to that one. Oh. But and I and I stay away from that because I don't need to see his crazy ass because I don't have time. Cause see, I I be I fight. <laughs> you better fight. <laughs> okay. So anyway, we go we gonna wrap this up because he got a date like always. No, I don't. Don't be giving out. <laughs> no, I do not. Yeah, no. But so I mean, but do you think we hit this topic pretty enough? Like you think no, we got enough? Oh, I, like, I mean, what's up? What? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to share more stories. Okay. Um. Okay. So we didn't even talk about trainers or nothing up in there. Okay. We, no, we gotta cover more stuff. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm listening. Come okay. On. So um, I've had multiple trainers try me. Multiple. What what type of these is? Because you didn't show multiple, me one. Because it's a final one, and I hope he's one of the ones training. A lot of the motherfuckers are gay, but you can't really tell because usually the ones that are trainers are more, you know, more macho and more um straight, and the niggas be straight gay. <laughs> I ain't never had a trainer try me, but I've never, but I've never. I guess uh-huh. I'm never really. I'm I'm kind of like you when I go in the gym. The gym is like my piece. Mm-hmm. So after all that with the scan, the guy from the scandal incident or whatever, I start going to the gym and I look straight forward. I got my music in, bitch. I don't see nobody unless I see somebody I know. No, or they see me, bitch. I don't see nobody. Everybody a ghost to me. Child, <laughs> child, they're, they're trying. So let me tell you about these trainers. Okay, so when I I started working out in 2013 ish. I was like this big, I was a string band, I was skinny as fuck, I was, I was like a lollipop, just just straight, big ass head, lollipop body. So um, it was a trainer guy in there, I don't even know how we, we, we were uh, we were in the, this was back when, this was that baddies, this was when was, this, this was back when baddies was okay, so this was a minute ago. So I remember it was just me and him in the little, the um, What's that room? I don't know what it's called, but the room with the weights. Mm-hmm. You know, they had the room with the weights, and then upstairs had all the machines. But they had this room downstairs. It was just for you know bench pressing and you know get lifted. You know for the, the more know, a, lot of, a lot of yeah. bench pressing. I don't think. Yeah. So I mean, I was I was bench pressing. You know mm-hmm. my little fifty pounds because I was you know still this big. And I'm just like <laughs> you know I was struggling like oh this is so hard. And uh, it was me and one other guy, and I noticed. And the whole room was a big mirror. The walls had mirrors all over. So I'm watching him watch me in the mirror. But I had my headphones and I was listening to Dave Shalom, Let a Nigga Try Me. I don't know why I remember that shit. That was my song, y'all. That was 2014. That was my shit. So I'm just like, hey. I'm like, I'm lit trying to lift my weight. So um, he started talking and I'm like, he's talking to me. My thing is, you know, the phone got headpiece in or something like that. So I, t- I pop up on my earphones. And he was talking to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was just like... Creepy entertaining this. No, no. You know, I'm like... And he was talking to me. 
So make the long story short, he was a trainer. And uh, I mean, body was banging, popping. I mean, very attractive guy, just really attractive guy. And um, fast forward, we exchanged information. Um, so then he was like, one day he was like, oh, you want to chill at my house? So, you know, he wanted to chill at his house. I'm like, all right. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, on that day, I was like, you know, I want some fuckboy shit. Like, fuck it. Like, this nigga fine. I want to see, I want to get tossed around like a salad. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to go over there and see right. what this little trainer dude was about. So I go over there, and when I got to the house, it was very clear that he didn't live there by himself. It was very clear, and it was pictures of him and some woman, like pictures on the wall and shit. I'm just like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, nigga, did you, you married in raw. You know what I'm saying? Like, did you married? And he was like, he didn't really want to say it. But his reaction gave me the answer I already knew. So he pretty much, you know, so many words said he was married. He never said yes. So what a wife was. She wasn't home. And uh, so I, I didn't do it. I did not do it. My, my, my mom raised me good. I did not do it. So I don't think I had a karma in my life. So I, was, I couldn't do it. But I was just really pissed because it was like, nigga, why didn't you say it? Like, you know, like, let me know. Like, he would communicate it. Or gave me a choice to choose. Maybe I would have been down with it. Maybe. Like, because, you know, I didn't even go see her lies, dude. I have done a choice before. And I'd be like, bitch, I ain't your wife friend. I don't give a fuck. I mean, that was the old me. Now, let me tell you, now, if I find out you got a wife or girlfriend, I'd be like, I'm bro, I'm good. Yeah. I can't. Because, you know, I could end up being friends with your wife or your girlfriend one day. And I'd be like, well, girl, you know, I fucked your husband, but I didn't know he was your husband. You would never be able to say I was your friend and I and I messed with your husband. No, right. ma'am, I fucked your husband. I didn't know y'all was married. Yeah, exactly. So, so I, you know, I, I ended up making fast forward. I ended up leaving. Dude was pissed. Dude was pissed. So after that, every time I would go to the gym, he would like antagonize me. So I like I'll be on the machine working out, and he'll stand right next to me and be like, "Oh, you can't speak. You can't say hello." I'm like, "What's up?" Hi. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. What's up? Or like if I walk into the, I mean, once I walked into the locker room, just me and him, and I didn't speak. Like, oh, you can't speak. I never spoke after that. And I'm like, no, like, what you want me to say? You know what I'm saying? And he was like, and once, and at one time, I'll never forget. I walked into the, the locker room. He was wearing a towel, and then he was in one section. So I kept walking by, and I went to another area. Because you were trying and to then, see, you were trying to get a little peek. No, no, I, yeah, I, I, no, I, I, went, I, I was, I was over him. So I'm like, this is a good dog. So then he came and started trying to argue with me, and I'm like, he was like, fine, honey, I'll go home and fuck my wife then. Okay, that's what you supposed to do. Yeah, I'm like, bitch, nigga, bitch, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's your fucking wife. Like, bitch, I'm not jealous. Like, I don't care. Like, honey, if I want meat, I will get the meat. I got, it's, it's so much meat out here. You know, it's so much meat, y'all. It's so much meat. Yep, you ain't gotta hop on married man meat when there's the single meat out there. <laughs> the single fresh meat. Man, that man yeah. dick be good for time, friend. I'm just playing, y'all. I'm just playing, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Oh, man. I want that meat, y'all. I, I think that meat, that meat come with baggage. It, it do. It, 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 it come with too much. Yeah, and then, not to mention, like, I wasn't the only cute gay boy in that gym. So, it was like, he probably ran a game on all these other people. That's like, I don't have time. I ain't have time for that. So, that was canceled. That was one of my stories. But then, fast forward to 2019, mm -hmm. I had a situation if you're watching this video, I'm so sorry. But, <laughs> but right before I left Chicago, um, I was going to a gym called Export. Mm -hmm. And it's um, everybody in Chicago, D.C., and New York know about Export Gym. It's a way better L.A. It's like a 24-hour L.A. fitness. Mm -hmm. And uh, the niggas in there used to be fine as fuck. So it was this trainer on Instagram. Like, we follow each other, like each other's pictures. And I asked him, like, hey, can I work out with you one day? Make the long story short, we ended up meeting up one day. I told him to go to the wrong gym by mistake. So he went to the wrong gym and I went to another gym. Then once we realized we were at the at two different gyms, I was like, oh, it's okay. We just meet up another day. Like, I paid the situation. Because it was cold out there. Chicago, it was cold. You know, I'm like, I'm not about to go back out there in that cold. Like, I'm in here. I'm warm. I'm not going back out there. You know, because I knew if I left that gym, I was going to go home. So I'm like, I'm going to just work out. So I'm just sitting there working out. Like, just going to go like, yeah. Hey, they said, I feel this shadow. <laughs> I feel his shadow like standing over me and I'm like, what the fuck? And it's the trainer dude from Instagram. Like, he was mean money the fuck out of me. Like, he looked like he wanted to, like, beat my ass. And I'll get run this money. But, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm about that life. I fight too. So, uh, so I'm just looking at him. But in my head, I was like, damn, he fine. But he was just mean money the shit out of me. And I didn't, and I thought he was, um, I thought he was straight, but I thought he was straight ish. 
It was like it was a few things about him on his Instagram that made me question him. I know there's a few gay people follow him, but it was like the muscle gay. So I was like, you know, he could be straight. Cause a lot of straight, I mean, a lot of gay muscle men follow the straight, straight muscle men. Yeah, yeah, for motivation and things like that, you know, and or they try to learn their techniques and workouts and shit like that. And um, so I'm like, man, but in my head the whole time, I'm like, man, this dude is fine as fuck. I want to sit on his face. I mean, my head, I think of all these things, but I remember the whole workout, I swear, like, he was mean mother me for, like, the whole 45 minutes. It's like, he was like, he just wanted to slap me <laughs> from wall to wall. And I was just like, why are you, I'm sorry. And I even, I even said, I'm like, why are you looking at me like that? I said that. I'm like, why are you looking at me like that? He was like, like, what? I'm like, you look like you got a problem with me. He was, he was like, no, he was like, you talking to the wrong gym. I'm like, well, I'm sorry for that, but quit looking at me like that. <laughs> I'm like, you look like you got beef. You know what I'm saying? Like, baby, you got fat. You know, I got time for that. So, um, the workout was really intense. And still to this day, some of those workouts he taught me, I still do. When he left, we was texting, and I was like, I apologize. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he was like, yeah, you got to make it up to me. So, I was like, well, how do you want Yeah, so I'm like, well, how do you want me to make it up to you? And then he started texting. Like, he was like, I ain't going to lie. It was kind of hard for me to focus. When you were on certain machines, so I was just looking at your ass and this and this and that. And I was like, oh, I like this nigga again. And I was like, yes. And then my head, I was like, when I saw him, I was like, I was thinking the same thing. But he was mad at me, so I didn't want to like flirt. But I would have flirted, but I, I didn't know. But uh, but we're still cool to this day. Like we still text, we still like talk to each other on Instagram. Now, have y'all had get to the good part? No, we never. Cause I, it was literally like a week or so before I moved. So I met him. So you ain't did that. Oh, you gotta no. go back and get no. it. And let us know. Oh, no, you have to recap. I am. No. Okay, so oh, when you I get am. it, we're gonna have a recap about I this. I am. We're gonna I am. have a part two about this. I am. On what's, I am. On what's the bit good. I am. I, I that's have. what the title gonna be called. Have. What's the bit good? I have. That's our, next, that's our next title. What's the bit good? Oh, Lord, that's gonna be This is about to be an hour video. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's, it's not. So if you're watching this, I mean, he, he already knows. We, we, we talked. It's, mm-hmm. it's gonna happen. Next time I come to Chicago, we're just, it ain't gonna be no talking. We can talk and catch up. Oh, you just go, he want, you want him to come to the door naked? Yes. Or I will show you, up naked. You like, with, a, with a robe on? No, I ain't gonna have that much on. I got nothing on. I just wanna get straight to the point. And then afterwards, then we can catch up. And like, oh, how, how you made it? You know, but after we, you know, oh. I just want us to just. <laughs> I need to be a flower <laughs> I need to be a fly on the wall so right. I can set up this OnlyFans page no. that they said you get. Yeah, so uh, y'all, let's address that. So y'all, it's rumors about me having an OnlyFans page. It's, it's, I've been hearing so many rumors, and you know, I have an idea of who's spreading these rumors. I have an idea, but I ain't gonna address no names or point no fingers. But baby, I ain't got a motherfucking OnlyFans page. One thing about me, I'm what you see is what you get. You know what I'm saying? The same way I am in this video is how I am in real life. What you see on my Instagram is how I am in real life. I'm as humble and as cool as can I'm be. I'm headed thigh. No, I got hair. I can tell you that. <laughs> uh, I got hair. It's nappy. Oh, oh, oh friend, you, man. you ain't bald headed right now. It's a loose breath. Oh, Bow, you I'm be, trying to get ready. Friend, you do bald headed whole shit. Stop no, I don't. Me. No, I really am saying it. Like, oh, uh, uh, is that supposed to be your halo bitch? Yeah, see, see, that, that was supposed see, to be that halo right there. Girl, I miss. I got a silver halo. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so uh, <laughs> so yeah, I just just yeah, I listen. If I had an OnlyFans page, I would have no shame. And promoting my shit to get my coin. You know what I'm saying? But I have a good paying job. And I have a business on the side. I don't you, need to do that. You I, know what? It, it ain't no shame. I've said this one time before. I'm going to say it again. Girls that's got OnlyFans pages can't ever step to me and say that we in the same lane. No, bitch, we not. Because my coin don't come from the OnlyFans. Period. Period. I'm just saying, I don't have to do all that extra to get my coin. But them hoes are relying on that shit. To pay I'm not. Yeah, I don't have to do all And yeah. I'm not trying to say... I'm not trying to be mean. Do what you do for your old coin, but bitch, yeah, no I'm, you're not me. You don't even compare. It's yeah. not. It's no comparison. And, and it's not that there's nothing wrong with doing. I mean, if that's what you want to do, baby, live your life, make your money. Don't let nobody tell you how to make your money. If that makes you happy, that pay your bills, have at it. But I do not have an OnlyFans page. So if anybody tell you that I have one, let me know. I'm going to be his manager, y'all. Yeah, let me know. I, I want my money. Like, I ain't getting no money. Like, if somebody really got an OnlyFans page, I mean, there's, there is no videos and nothing like that of me, but I just find it funny how there's these rumors about me, but there's no receipts to support these rumors. Which means there are 
people or a certain someone spreading these lies about me. Mm-hmm. And um, so I just want to make it clear it ain't true. Don't believe what you hear unless you see the receipts. Okay. If you ain't got the receipts, don't believe what you hear. Well, did, did you get all your stories out? Because I feel like you, you more, had to release. I feel like you uh, like this because you really. It's more stories, gym stories? Mm-hmm. Well, we're going to have to do a part yeah. two. <laughs> We're gonna have to do a part two. Did you give the good juicy ones? Um, yeah. I mean, I, I, I got some more stories, but we'll say it for another time. Because <laughs> we already have 45 minutes and 19 seconds, okay? And, and what I've learned is that you <laughs> want to keep your videos a little short because you get more more people watching. You know, yeah. when it's a two-hour video, girl, they're going to be like, girl, I'm not going to watch out. Mm-hmm. But, hey, where can they find you? You know, you got to um, let them know where they can uh, find Instagram. you. Instagram. L A U R E N T D I O R. Period. It's not really a period. I just like to say a period after I say what I need to say. Y'all, I'm not about to play with him. Y'all already know where to find me. Facebook, Jr. Price. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook, YouTube. BGC Jack Grinder D A F L Kid. Y'all already know the Florida Kid D A F L Kid. Please don't laugh. You remember BGC A for A back in the day, oh. No. But anyway, we appreciate y'all. We gonna come back. I'm gonna try to bring Lauren again so he can tell the rest of these stories. Cause oh. I mean, you see how we go on. If we be, we be, we be running. I'm sorry. But anyway, we love y'all. We'll catch y'all next week. Holla. Bye. <laughs>